This is my review of the FootJoy Pro SL golf shoe. Now I've been playing with this golf shoe for about a year and a half now and one of the things I'll first of all say is that it is a really comfortable shoe. I've not, this is actually the first time that I've worn uh, spikeless shoes and I was, I was always a, a little bit re reluctant because I normally play all year round and I always thought you know having proper spikes would be best for grip you know especially in ice and on wet conditions but this I must admit there's there's no lack of grip I've never slipped over once um, playing on grass tees playing off uh, astroturf tees I've always had as much grip if not more grip with these shoes compared with traditional cleats so that that's the first thing I'll say secondly I really really like the look of them I think they they look really modern and really sporty they're quite trainer like I like the fact that they're in black because they the, the dirt doesn't show up so so easily and they're, they're easy to clean they go well with you can wear them with shorts you can wear them with trousers and and they just look modern and um, and quite smart the uppers are made from leather and there's a few plastic parts in there as well. The sole is covered in these very small micro spikes I suppose you want to call them and they do, like I said they do a great job. They, they don't slip around, they're just, they're just you know as good as, if not better than, traditional um, Black Widow spikes, things like that. So, yeah, very comfortable. They don't pinch. I, I could pretty much, I could pretty much put them on straight away and use them straight away, and they're absolutely fine. And the, yeah, they they didn't have to. I didn't have to wear them in much at all. I'm just going to talk briefly about the inside of the shoe because. The footbed is, is really comfortable, but the main negative about this shoe, you can probably see it already, is the inside of the heel. Now I've, I've had this problem on a number of uh, FootJoy shoes in the past, and that is the heel, the inside of the heel has just completely worn away. I used to have a pair of uh, dry joys, and they the, the inside of the heel wore away so quickly that I, that I sent them back to FootJoy and <laughs> instead of uh, giving me a brand new set of pair of shoes they um, they actually patched up the inner heel which I wasn't that impressed with but to be honest I've always bought FootJoy shoes they they fitted me really well and that's why I, why I keep buying them but this is a definite issue and it's it's a design flaw. I really think that uh, FootJoy really need to look at this, and they need to put more padding on the inside of the of the shoe because the rest of it is you know it's in really good condition. You know I, I do clean my shoes quite regularly and I do put dubbing on every now and again, but it it's getting to a point where the inside of the shoe, the inside of the heel, is becoming uncomfortable because. My heel is 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 wearing against the side here, so this part in here is pretty much right against the leather. It's it's quite hard, and it is becoming uncomfortable. And I'd I'd hate to have to throw away a pair of shoes like this, which have got tons more life left in them, just because of that. So that's that's my my main downside. Everything else about the shoe I really like, and I would buy them again. But it's that that's that's making me think. Mm, actually, maybe I should shop around and have a look at some other makes. So there you go. There's my review of the Footjoy SL shoe.